and welcome to another video. As you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be my very first fashion video in particular, an autumn styling video, and I'm so excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous because, of course, I've never really taken my channel in this direction before, but you guys were so supportive on my last video when I mentioned it that I had the courage and the encouragement to make this video today. So how are you guys doing? Are you embracing autumn yet or are you still clinging on to summer? Is it warm or is it cold? I'd really like to know, so let me know in the comments. I go back and forth to be honest because I would really love to go on holiday before the warmth is officially gone from Europe but we shall see we're still there's still so many things up in the air for us right now that it is not a guarantee either way I feel like we're all feeling a little bit of autumn and fall fashion so this video is a autumn styling video but it's also kind of an Abercrombie and Fitch haul because I bought almost 20 things from their website, but don't worry, I'm not keeping them all. This is part of the process to try everything on, show it to you guys so I can get your feedback and decide what I'm going to be keeping and what I'm going to be sending back. I feel like I kind of want to put my headband in. There, I feel like that's better. I always feel better when my hair is out of my face. I mentioned to you that I am building a classic wardrobe. I did say capsule wardrobe much earlier in this year, but I realized that's probably not the right term for it because I'll never have a wardrobe of just 40 items. I do like to have variety. I'm not a strict minimalist. I just tried to cut down on just being excessive. So yes, a classic wardrobe, and I've already done that for myself for late winter, spring, and summer. I'm currently working on my autumn wardrobe and I really wanted to share that process with you and this order is part of that process. So I've never actually shopped at Abercrombie and Fitch ever. It definitely would have been 16 year old Robin's dream to shop there. Fun fact about me, I actually worked at American Eagle from the age of 15 to 22 through high school and college slash university because I'm Canadian and I say university. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it carried me through, it helped me save money at the time. So I really appreciated that job. And I really have always kind of loved a sort of classic, sort of preppy style. It's definitely evolved over the years. My dream would have probably been to work at Abercrombie and Fitch, but I come from a small town in Canada and of course we did not have an Abercrombie anywhere near us and online shopping didn't really exist back then because I am old. I haven't really thought about this shop since I was about 20 so I decided to check it out and I was actually extremely pleasantly surprised. It's so different than how it used to be. It used to be very casual and heavily logo based, but when I was looking through the website, I was getting very, very strong reformation vibes and I actually loved pretty much everything on the website. Specifically, I was really impressed by their fabric compositions. I knew back in the day they were very high quality, so I was really pleased to see that that's something they did carry through. After having received the items and feeling them and trying them on, because I did wear a few of them. The material feels very high quality and really soft and comfortable so that is a huge win. I did focus on knits so I was very pleased to see that the knits were very rich in either cotton or viscose or both and didn't contain high amounts of polyester and acrylic which are literally my least favorite materials for like anything basically but especially knitwear because it's just plastic so it makes you sweat. I just find it very uncomfortable. It like doesn't give you the warmth of natural material but it also doesn't let you breathe so very very impressed with the materials and that's what made me feel comfortable spending kind of at a higher price point for what you'd see at high street retailers. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive than some other brands, but I'm personally happy to spend that. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I just really was impressed by what I saw on the website and I could not help myself from ordering almost 20 things. I already see more things that I would like to order, so I wouldn't be opposed to sponsorship in the future though, yeah. <laughs> the majority of what I purchased is knitwear. I personally love knitwear for autumn and winter. I live in it. Having kind of like a curvier fitness sort of body, I find knitwear is perfect because it's so stretchy and it's form-fitting and most important of all, it is comfortable 
and cozy so i'm excited to show how i style things because i'm not just going to be like showing each individual item i'm going to be putting together outfit so without any further delay let's get into the styling part of this video so the first item i wanted to show you is this dress it is absolute perfection it's definitely my favorite from the entire order i absolutely love the design it's got little puff sleeves as you can see it's fitted around the waist but it does flare out a little bit which is really really nice it makes it feel a little bit more daytime appropriate for me rather than a really slim fitting dress that's quite fitted all the way down i absolutely love the open back it's got a little keyhole and it buttons at the back here so that it's easy to get over your head the material is so soft and comfortable it's warm but it's not too warm i love it i love the color of it a new color that i've been in incorporating into my wardrobe is this beautiful kind of brownish rust color i do think it suits me i think it's flattering and i think it would go really nice on most skin tones when i first wore this dress i decided to leave it as is i wore it with my fairfax and favor boots and my louis vuitton bag but it would look really nice styled with a belt as well to kind of take it in a little bit more at the waist all you need with this dress is a cute pair of boots and a nice bag and you have the perfect autumn outfit i personally like comfort and ease and if i'm comfy then i'm happy i'm definitely keeping the top i really appreciate how abercrombie are doing high necks with buttons in the back so that you can kind of get it over your head without getting makeup all over it i think that is a really nice detail and it's not too difficult to do the buttons up yourself i think it looks really pretty as well and i really appreciate that they do petite sizes so they do down to extra extra small which is the size that I got most of my items in and they also do short and tall so they have a pretty good size range I think it goes up to an extra large it might even go up to an extra extra large to me being a petite person I just really appreciate how I can actually find stuff that fits me fits around my waist and my upper body is quite small so so yeah but I'm loving this outfit the sweater is kind of like a point tail open knit and I love the sleeves the sleeves are really similar to the dress the material is so soft and, and it's also stretchy I'm really impressed by the quality of the knits it doesn't feel like it's gonna pick easily either it is a little bit cropped but it works perfectly paired with high-waisted things just like this skirt so this is a suede skirt it fits so nice I'm so happy with it this isn't an extra extra small I did try the extra small thinking my lower body is a little bit bigger than my upper body but that was too big on both the hips and the waist surprisingly so I really like how this fits kind of a curvier silhouette and it is a little bit tight sort of right here but there is stretch to it so i think it works i love the slit and the sort of wrap style of the skirt and the material is so soft and as i said really stretchy so this whole outfit feels like loungewear but it looks very put together and elegant i decided to pair the look with some ankle boots i think it looks nice with the longer skirt this is such a nice autumn transitional outfit i'm not sure of how much is in stock by the way i will link everything down below and i would suggest if you don't have it already to get shop tagger i use it all the time for things that are out of stock in my size it notifies you when they come back in stock so apologies if quite a few of these things are low in stock i'm not sure about the us website but i know that they are low in stock on the uk website so this is giving me major reformation vibes i actually have the top really similar to this from reformation it's just patterned but it has the same v-neck puff sleeves and the button details however it was double the price of this top the bodice is double lined but the sleeves are single lined so you don't get any sheerness through the front of the top it has a little lace overlay the buttons are covered with the same satin as the top i did get an extra extra small in this and it does fit me really nice around the waist however i do feel feel like it's the tiniest bit small so you might want to size up if you're in between sizes for this top it's such a perfect option for a jeans and a nice top outfit i'm wearing the classic high-waisted skinny jean from fashion nova i don't think that they are of the best quality but at the end of the day i need jeans that actually fit so i'm happy with these i just got these kind of more darker wash for the autumn and winter again i'll leave everything linked below and i'm wearing my fairfax and favor boots with this and i paired it with a belt i really really do think that 
high quality accessories can really elevate a less expensive outfit. The high quality boots and a high quality leather belt just ties everything together. I think this outfit is really versatile, really comfy. The jeans are super stretchy by the way. This top would look equally as nice with the suede skirt and also the open knit kind of high neck sweater that would look really nice with jeans too. So I think I'm doing really well with these pieces because I can definitely mix and match them and make so many different outfits. So, so far so good. Okay, so next up I have this brown wrap style cardigan. To be completely honest with you, I thought that this one was gonna, going to be my least favorite and I was not even sure if I wanted to include it in this video. But now that I try it on, I really, really like it. And it is so comfy. I think that that really helps its cause. But let me know what you guys think. For me, this is just such an easy, comfy outfit. It could also double as loungewear if I wanted to wear it with knit bottoms or over a workout outfit with leggings. But I think with the jeans, it looks really nice and really casual, but also really elegant. I love that it comes with a little tie, so it's cinched in at the waist. This knit material is the thickest that I've shown you guys so so far again it's that cotton viscose type knit material so it's so soft and it also gives a decent amount of warmth without that really sweaty feeling i love this so much interested to know your guys's thoughts and on to the next again this top was one that i was really unsure of when i first opened up i didn't think i would like it but now that i have it on i am absolutely in love with it and it is also giving me major reformation vibes but of course at half the price oh i just really like this one look at the back it's an open back high neck top it has ties at the neck and also a tie at the bottom i've just kind of loosely tucked it in at the front because it is a bit long for me and of course i can't wear a bra underneath this one but i think it's worth it for the really pretty back it's a really soft sort of cottony feel rather than a silky blouse feel but it's really comfy and it feels really breathable as well I just love the design of it. It's not usually something I would go for and I was unsure of the pattern but I think it just looks so good with these dark denim jeans. It has slight ruching at the top here as well to give a little tiny puff to the sleeve but nothing major and then the wrists are really stretchy sort of like a smocked detail on the bottom. I really like this. <laughs> And because obviously it's going to be a little bit cooler with the back open, I think it would look really nice layered with a cardigan. With fear of repeating myself too many times, this outfit can also be really nice to wear at nighttime with some heels. I feel like it's really versatile and you can wear this in many different ways. All right, I'd say that we are halfway through. I hope you guys are still enjoying the video. This cardigan was my second favorite piece out of the whole order after the first dress that I showed you. And it's a very similar sort of vibe. It's got the puff sleeves and the same sort of cuff at the bottom, giving this a really pretty vintage vibe. I love a matching set and I feel so pretty in this outfit. This is a really typical outfit for me in the winter, especially if we're going out to Sunday lunch or on a date night. This is my favorite. And the knit is really similar to the first dress that I showed you. It's a cotton or a viscose ribbed knit fabric. Really, really soft, really stretchy, warm, but still breathable. So I paired the cardigan with this skirt. I knew as soon as I saw this on the website that I had to have it. It comes in a few different colors and I picked it up in this color as well as the same color as the dress, this sort of rust tan brown color. And I do not regret it. This skirt is so flattering. I'm wearing an extra, extra small. It fits perfectly at the waist. Overall, I love this outfit. It's so comfy. You can literally wear this around the house as loungewear. It just hugs the curve in all the right places making this really nice for a date night when you want to feel elegant and sophisticated yet maybe a little bit sexy <laughs> so yeah i love this one and the next one i'm gonna going to show you is really similar but i just knew that i had to stock up on separate sort of like this because i know for a fact that this cardigan would look so nice with jeans like in the previous outfit that i showed you and it also would look good kind of unbuttoned and open over a dress even 
we've got options. Wow, so this one is most definitely a keep. I think if there's one look from the whole video that you invest in, it would be this one. This is so versatile. If you get the two separate pieces, so I've got the sweater on and the skirt. This is such a gorgeous matching set. I love it so much. So the sweater is absolutely stunning. It's the same ribbed knit material as the cardigan, the skirt, and the first dress I showed you. It's actually the exact same color as the dress. Oh my god, I just love this. I love the v-neck. It's a really flattering style, a little bit softer, and it doesn't go down too low. I feel like it would look perfect on a bigger chest and smaller chests. The shoulders aren't puffy, but you get the puff sleeve effect at the bottom, so it's a really nice kind of understated puff sleeve look so that you can sort of get the trend without feeling over the top. I feel like this will be Ben's favorite outfit as well. I really love the slit in the skirt because apart from it being a really nice design detail, it also makes it a lot more comfortable because you feel like you can actually move your legs around, although the material is very stretchy. I sort of dressed this up with some kitten heels and a fancier handbag, but I do think this could be dressed down as well with some ankle boots or some or some knee-high flat boots or you could even pair it with trainers slash sneakers depending on your style but I just love this so much and I feel like you guys will really like it too but let me know in the comments. Switching gears to something a lot more summery or at least summer to autumn transition worthy we have this dress. I could not check out without adding this to cart because it is almost exactly like a reformation dress one that I actually bought, except the floral pattern is a lot more warmer toned and more appropriate for this time of year. It is just such a beautiful dress and a beautiful design. I love anything with little ties on the shoulders. It's just so cutesy and pretty and elegant. I'm in love with this dress. I actually have still been wearing dresses around the house lately, so I think I could definitely get some wear out of this before it gets too cold. It is actually fully lined though, so it wouldn't be too bad for if it's a little bit colder if you wanted to kind of layer it up with a cardigan or even a sweater like a crop sweater would be really cute so you can see the skirt so that the bottom half just looks like a really pretty floral skirt i love outfits like that and i think it's a really good way to kind of make the most out of a dress in your wardrobe especially if you have summer dresses that you still want to get a little bit more wear out of look at me i sound like fashion influencer <laughs> You would have just seen this cardigan styled with the dress but this is how i actually intended on wearing it over top of my cute gym shark and my active wear i really wanted a long line cable knit cardigan like this is exactly the cardigan that i was on the hunt for and i was searching for a couple of weeks really really didn't want to buy one in kind of like a low quality acrylic fabric so when i saw this and i saw that it was 60 percent cotton i knew that this was the one so i picked it up in three colors <laughs> but i've already gotten so much wear of this this has been my most worn so far i couldn't help myself i have been living in this cardigan and it just looks so nice with all of the more autumnal gymshark colors that have come out recently including this set which has just released and this is the adapt marl seamless i love the design of the bra and the leggings are very similar to the vital seamless which is my favorite my gym truck link is down below and you can also find all of the links for all of the items anything that i've shown you down below such an ideal cozy home outfit for before or after the gym if you didn't get too sweaty but yes i am absolutely obsessed with this i think it was worth every penny that i paid for it can't remember the price yeah so it was a bit pricey it was 72 pounds and 89 us dollars so a little bit pricey but for the the quality and the fabric composition it is so so worth it i do not buy cheap knits anymore i've learned the hard way and this is just so cozy and I know I can wear it with so many different outfits like of course you saw it with the dress and it looks really cute with just a gym set or lounge wear or I even wear it over my pajamas kind of as a dressing gown in the morning so yeah I'm very very happy with this and I got it in this cream color as well I really don't think I'm gonna send any of these back and I also got it in this beautiful red wine color sort of like a burgundy and it is so pretty for fall and i think it will look really nice in winter as well i love reds okay so i only have a few more things that i want to show you and they are all knit dresses or jumper dresses everyone loves a nice sweater dress so hopefully there's one here for you but this first one that i wanted to show you 
is really really pretty so this one was the other option compared to the first dress that i showed you they are quite different in colors so the first one was a rust this one is very much a camel and it's much more form fitting it is the same ribbed knit material but i'd say it's a little bit thinner than than pretty much anything else that i've showed you today other than the cream lace sweater that i showed you in the second look this one has a very nice scoop neckline it does have and a little bit of a puff sleeve but the sleeve is form fitting all the way down to the wrist this one is very much form fitting all the way down which is a really nice look sometimes it just depends what you're going for for me i'd probably feel more comfortable wearing this as a date night dress and i probably wouldn't want to wear it during the day as much because i just think it's a little too revealing i guess you could say although to each their own maybe this would be a perfect day dress for you i know i'm repeating myself but the quality is so beautiful on all of these pieces and it's making me feel like i will become a regular shopper at abercrombie i'm probably going to keep looking out for what new items they release this winter yeah just a really pretty knit mini dress wow i absolutely adore this color this is so pretty it's kind of like an egg plant sort of aubergine i would have never picked something like this but i'm really trying to go for sort of like deeper more warmer tones for autumn this would go with so many different skin tones as well and it's much more purple than this deep red cardigan so that might be able to give you a little bit of a color reference but i think this would look stunning on deeper skin tones obviously i'm quite pale and i think that this color just suits me so much better than black so it's really nice if i feel like wearing something a little bit darker honestly i cannot describe to you how comfortable this material is it is so soft it almost feels like stretchy soft flannel like the coziest material in the world it's really nice that it looks so elegant and put together while literally feeling like i'm wearing loungewear <laughs> definitely recommend this one and i have a feeling the price point was pretty decent everything's a bit pricey from abercrombie and fitch but i'm telling you it is worth it even if you pick one or two items i don't think you'll be disappointed i'm very pleased <laughs> with everything so far and i think that although it is sad for my bank account it was money well spent i do need to return a few things though so i did get this dress in one other color because i was anticipating i'd really like it which turned out to be true i'm anticipating that it's going to show a little bit more in a lighter color because the material is thin for a slim fitting dress it might show some lines and things but we'll have to see in the try on clips that you're watching right now either way i might have to keep both just due to how comfortable they are <laughs> okay so this is the final piece that i wanted to show you i hate to say it but i also love this one oh this is not going well for me in terms of wanting to return at least half of the things yeah i'm gonna need your guys's help <laughs> with this but this one is oh this is just this is just everything that i love in a sweater dress especially when it gets a little bit colder when it gets into winter it's a thicker knit normally something like this with the marl and the chunkier knit would be itchy and this is just not at all it is so soft oh wow i'm really glad i invested you guys i'm really glad and i highly recommend that you do too i know it means that you can get less for your money but sometimes it's worth it of course if you only pick one two three whatever your, your budget allows they're so versatile like every single time i put on an item i was spoiled for choice with what sort of bag or boots or belt to put with it i really think that everything can be dressed up and down yeah i'm pretty proud of myself i think i did really well here a little too well <laughs> but yeah this is a beautiful chunkier knit sweater dress it is form fitting but it's not super clingy i just love the neckline this is probably like the edgiest piece that i picked out and it's a really flattering neck and shoulder region it sort of just hugs the neck and the shoulders and the sleeves start out a little bit more form-fitting at the top and then they turn into puff sleeves at the bottom and i just think this paired with some heeled knee-high boots I feel like a boss lady and i feel like this is fairly work appropriate i'm pretty sure that most of the pieces come in short regular and tall so if you are more petite like me going for a regular fit or a tall fit it means that it's going to come up a little bit lower closer to the knees right so that's officially everything i wanted to show you today i am exhausted from trying on all those clothes but it was so worth it i would say that i have a clear idea of what i want to keep and what i want to go back but that would be a lie I
need help so <laughs> please let me know what you guys thought what was your favorite thing that i tried on what do you think i should keep what do you think i should send back my return window is closing so <laughs> i need answers <laughs> overall i'd say i am extremely extremely happy with abercrombie and fitch with their designs with the quality of the materials the fit is amazing and yes they're a little bit more pricey but i think it's totally worth it I'm such a huge fan in investing a little bit more money to get a lot more quality. So I will definitely be shopping at Abercrombie again and I'm going to be on the lookout for anything new that might come out, although maybe that's not a good idea. Oh, and please do give me some feedback on this video. What do you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Um, would you like to see more videos like this? I loved filming it. I had so much fun today. I can't tell you how much I enjoy styling outfits and putting together some looks and I'm still so new to it and I feel like I can do a little bit better with styling things so any feedback is greatly appreciated so I think I'm going to end the video here if you did like today's video then please leave me a like it does really help me and my channel and please do subscribe and hit the bell notification if you haven't already I am really looking forward to my next videos it's just going to get better from here I promise so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye.